Hello there, I'm Sir Classy, and this is SC Tutor. So and in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make an Afrobeats type beat. Hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Before we get started, this tutorial comes with a free drum kit and a free MIDI pack that you can use to spice up your production process. You can simply click the link in the description below to gain access and feel free to join our Telegram community while you're at it after you download the kit. All right, now let's get started. All right, so we're going to listen to this beat first. I'm going to break it all apart. So let's listen. So that's pretty much it and it just loops over and over again into three parts. So when I started making these beats, I wanted that high life feel, like more of that Ghanaian Banku vibe. So I started with these ambient chords, zoom in a bit. So this chord progression is A minor actually. And then after I played that ambient chord, I came and filled it up with this um, rhythm, this very popular high life rhythm. So this is a very popular rhythm for high life music in West Africa, Ghana and Nigeria to be precise. Then I added this kalimba plug sound, very popular as well. Just to give it a little bit of bounce. Then before I came in all the way here, I'm going to go into that. I added this drum pattern. And after I got that bounce right, then I felt like, okay, let me build on more of the melodies. Then I added this um, more kalimba melodies to it again. So this just made the beat sound more cool, more chilled and relaxed, no stress. And then I added this guitar plug rhythm. And then I made sure I added a little bit of ambience with this road um, e piano pad. This is how it sounds on its own. So this kind, of, this kind of like just butters it up and fills it all up in the beat. And then then the shaker from the Afro beats was added. You can see how it pulls everything together. This is shaker loop. 
This is Rika loop. You can see how it all pulls the entire piece together. And then after I came that far, I needed to add a little bit of sub two elements here because I, I want to differentiate the first part of the hook from the second part of the chord. This is a 16 bar hook. So I didn't want to just be playing all the way. So I just added something sub to here. That is this um, bell sound. So I felt like it would complement it, make the hooks sound a bit different without changing the entire vibe. I just wanted a complementary melody, not a melody that would change the entire vibe. And then the last thing I added was the bass. Very simple bass line that just followed the chord progression. I used um, FL Studio stock plugin Poison to play the bass. I use a lot of stock plugins for my beats. Believe it or not, I do, even for mixing as well. So that was how the beats came together. Very simple, minimal beats for Afro beats. There are not much melodies, but it's just complementary melodies. And this helps give the artist space to shine. And when they mix the vocal, the vocal is going to come out very crispy and very clear on the beat. And the structure for this is there are um, three verses because the verses are actually short. You can see this is first verse, about eight bars, second verse, another eight bars, third verse, eight bars. Then the hook is highly repetitive. So it's really be catchy for the um, listener that listens to the final song. So the very sorry, the hook is 16 bars, 16 bars, 16 bars. But this final hook here is kind of like it's going to fade out when the artist sings, repeats the verse again in third part, but it's going to end as a fade, just to make it even more interesting. There's no actual outro per se. The outro is just the hook. The outro is the final hook. So we have three hooks and three verses. And our intro is just four bars. And if you notice, we don't have any drum roll here. The drum roll, or rather, what I used to show transition from one part to the other was taking out the kick from the rim shots and we had this. That was just what I used. So I just wanted to keep this beat as chilled and as simple as possible. I didn't want any form of, um, um, I didn't want too much vibes, but just chilled vibe, something chilled, something low tempo, something that people can just relax and, you know, just vibe with. So that was the aim of this beat, really, really simple beat. And the artist that's going to jump on this is going to have a lot of space to be really free, be flexible, and the reverb for the vocal is going to really be lush and be really full. So this is what I think about when I make beats. I think about the artist. I, I just don't try to impress people with a dope beat. I think about the end goal, the artist and the audience. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to leave us with a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that people that need this video can easily find it right here on YouTube. And also feel free to check out more of my videos that will help you level up your music making skills. Cheers.